Hey everybody. So I was not planning on doing a video for this because it seems like everybody and their brothers is, has bought this uh, Lego NES set and, and it is, it's really cool. But I just thought I would kind of give my take on it so far. So um, that's the box for it down there. There's, that, there's the white box that comes in there. I think it has 21 bags. As you can see, I've got them all in order on the floor. I'm up to bag number, uh, where am I? Bag number five or four. I'm working on bag four right now. And then there's a few multiple bags too. And then here, let me zoom out. So I've already, I'm about halfway done with the uh, console. And um, it's pretty cool the way this goes together. It's, it's a nice solid build too. And then what's really cool is the way this, let me turn it this way so you can see it. I am really intrigued by the way the uh, cartridge, this is where the cartridge is going to slide in, but the way this little locking mechanism works is really cool. Watch the way this, let me, am I focused here? I don't know, let me see. I, I have a hard time focusing with this camera sometimes. Alright, so let's, let's see if I can get it in here. Alright, so now watch how this goes. See how that little white thing moves up? And then it goes back. So there's some slopes in there. And so when you push it down, it goes on the slope and moves that forward. Then it pushes it just slightly forward to keep it locked. Now it's flat, and that's when you got the cartridge in. And then you'll push this down, and then that slides back up, and it goes all the way back up, and it tips this whole thing back up again. I think that is absolute genius. It's absolutely amazing how they do it. There's, um, pardon the uh, squeaky chair. <laughs> um, there's a lot of stickers, or, I mean, I'm sorry, there's a lot of printed pieces, and the only stickers that are on this set, mercifully, is these two for the uh, game cartridge, and then this back one here for the TV, which I haven't even begun on the TV yet. But... Okay, now this part is really cool. It's on the, the side, and here you can see I got all the vents done. That was really fun to put those in. But this is the hidden Easter egg that a lot of people are discovering, where it's got, um, I mean, you wouldn't even know it's there, because here's the side piece. I just got done building it. And it's all tiled off. So this actually fits on here with those little jumpers that you see down there. So I haven't actually put this on yet. But yeah, it goes right on like that. And then um, you can take this off. And then inside you will see, this is the, um, now I keep in mind, it's been a long, long time since I played Mario. But um, I do remember this part where um, everybody wanted to get to this. It's like a shortcut where you can go down these three different channels to take shortcuts. Or some people called it a warp. Um, I think we always called it the shortcut, but this is really cool. They they actually have this thing in here where you got the stairs. I think this is supposed to represent Mario. And the little things here, here's the cool little, you know, I, I could just hear the sound effect when he goes through these tubes. It's got that unusual sound effect. But anyway, yeah, here's the three that you can choose from. But I, I love this. This is so cool how Lego decided to add this little Easter egg in here. And I, I mean, I don't even think it was advertised or shown or anything. I think that is so cool. In fact, um, if I didn't know what I was building because I'd already seen a review on this, I, I would not have thought about it until I got to where it's built and then realized what it is. But yeah, that that is a really, really cool feature. Okay, so I got the entire game unit done. This is really, really cool how this went together. I, I just can't believe how fun this is to put together it's really amazing so there's the little you know connectors connections for the controllers one two um, print pieces these are all prints here for the power and the reset button that's like the power light right there that's all prints as well this is where the uh, where you open this up and the, the game cartridge goes down inside there yeah it's a very smooth functioning hinge right there and yeah, I mean, this was, <laughs> I'm just constantly amazed at the engineering that goes into some of these Lego sets. I mean, it's, you know that these guys have spent a lot of time. Yeah, here, let me zoom in on that. Maybe, there we go, the audio video. Those are uh, prints too, by the way. So, yeah, this is really cool. I, I love this thing. It's really amazing. It looks like the next thing I'm going to be making is the game cartridge itself so yeah this is really really turning out amazing all right I got the game cartridge done and I, I love this it was, it was really cool how the whole thing just is all brick built um, on the bottom it you know it doesn't look as nice of course as the the top part of it but um, these are the two stickers of the three and they uh, they look really good but what was really cool about this is I can't believe how they actually have the green color on the inside right there of the circuit board. I remember when you used to put these or look down inside there you can see the circuit board down inside there and they actually 
replicated that green in there. That is pretty, pretty darn amazing. So uh, yeah, so now we just open this up and then this goes inside the little shelf right here. Let's see if I can do this left-handed. Okay, there we go. Yeah, and then this just clicks down like this and then you just close it. But yeah, that is, <laughs> that is just too cool. I'm having total flashbacks um, messing around with this. I haven't messed around with one of these in I don't even know how long. I mean, it's been decades. Um, I had one, and my friend down the street had one, and we were constantly playing games all day long. And so this is really, really cool. I mean, it is fun to just kind of mess with this all over again and and um, get that feeling of it again. It's, it's just so cool. Really, really cool. All right, well... Next is uh, the controller. I wish we got two of those, but you only get one, but that's all right. At least we we get that part. So yeah, that'll be next. Okay, so here is the controller, and this is a pretty spot-on replica to the original. Uh, considering this is made of Lego, I am so impressed at how good this looks. So you can see it's all smooth on the sides. Yeah, I wish there was a way for them to finish the back off a little bit better, like maybe um, have anti-stud pieces with tile on the front, just to clean that up. I, but, you know, I mean, it's supposed to be seen from the front, but still. But yeah, these are really cool. I wish the buttons pushed too, but, um, but you know, that, that's okay. I mean, it's mainly just a replica, but boy, does this feel just like it did on the original game. It's so bizarre to uh, see this in person. Okay, so now here's the cable that it comes with and then this um, actually does connect into the front right here so you just plug that in and uh, yeah just like the real thing and there's a space for a second one I really wish they would have given you two of these it would be kind of cool so yeah but that's alright I mean it's pretty neat I actually bought two of these sets I want to keep one in the box but I'm half tempted just to open it just so I can build the, this part and have two of them but I'm not going to do it. I'm going to keep one in the box just for collectability reasons. But all right, yeah, this is really cool. I'm loving this so far. So the TV is next, and that looks like a real technical build. There's still quite a few bags left, as you can see down here. So that's all for the TV. So yeah, this will this will be uh, keep that'll keep me busy for a while. Okay, so I'm starting on the TV now, and I just finished up bag number ten, and it's got quite a bit of cool uh, engineering going on here. You can see all these gears. So. Here's the crank that's going to turn the uh, the screen, and it's a very, very smooth mechanism. Look at all those gears that are in there. And then you can see it's sliding on the table, so it's hard for me to turn, but you can see this piece here is turning now. This thing's cool. It's a it's one of those anti, you know, it's make sure that you don't, like if you try to turn it this way, it won't go because that thing locks it in place, that little piece right here. So uh, you can see it how it clicks like this. And they used a similar thing in the haunted house that's got the ride in it to prevent you from turning it the wrong way. So I think that's really cool. It's very ingenious. And then you can see there's some wheels going on down here. That's where the, the scenery is going to go traveling around. So, all right. Yeah, this is cool. Uh, I guess I'll keep on going now. All right. It's starting to look more like a TV now. I'm getting the walls put up here on the sides and then the whole back area. I love these vents back here. Those are pretty cool. Those, those were fun to put together. More stuff coming over here, and then you got the jacks and the inputs and all that sort of thing. I love the antenna, how you can have the antenna go up. It's kind of, I, I gotta say, this is kind of giving me a retro feel for the old TVs and the old game system. It's really kind of cool. It's kind of like a walk down memory lane. <laughs> all right, well, uh, on with more work. Okay, this thing was pretty cool. This is the, um, the roller that goes on the inside where the uh, scenery for the game will go across here. But look at the intricacy of this. So it had 60 of these uh, tread pieces that link all together here, and I think you have to make 15 of the, the like where the white thing is, like the interconnecting pieces, and then you have all these parts on the outside like this. And so, yeah, it was really cool putting this together, and then all the colored tiles here are the, the tiles that interact with the electronic Mario, which um, I have uh, an electronic Mario coming, so I want to see how it works with this. But yeah, this was kind of fun. I mean, it was repetitive, but it was it's fun to build, and it's just kind of cool. All right, um, on to the next step. All right, I'm not going to lie, but this was <laughs> really tedious. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe how tedious this was. There are so many tiles on here. Look how many there are. And, I mean, you know, so this is all in segments, so you got to make sure that everything's on there correctly, or it's not going to, 
you know, roll right or fold right. But I mean, there is just a ton of these round ones everywhere. And then, you know, and then this part here, you know, you'd think they could take a little bit of shortcuts. These are all one by ones. And I mean, cause, you know, it does bend, but at least on those segments, they could have done a one by four, you know, or one by one by five there or whatever. I, I think they make those, I don't know, in this color, maybe not, I don't know, but these are all one by ones. I do love the uh, prints on here. These look great. I mean, look at all these. Yeah, I love that. That looks really, really cool. But yeah, this was, uh, this is gonna, uh, for people who don't like the repetition or tediousness, this this is gonna kill them. <laughs> Cause it, it is, it's crazy, but it's really cool when it's done. I love the way this looks. So yeah, this whole thing is like, you know, comes in segments like that. That's really cool. All right, well, um, I, it was fun to build it. It was just kind of time consuming, but that's all right. No rush, it's fun. All right, so this thing is all inserted into the TV now. And man, what a cool uh, work of, what a feat of engineering this is. Look at how that works. That is so cool how that just turns. And it's hard to do this one-handed because the whole thing wants to move. But yeah, that's really, really cool. Here you can see on the inside how those wheels turn like that. Yeah, it's like a chain. It's like, you know, on a bicycle. Bicycle chain. Yeah, that's really, really neat. Man, I love that. That is so cool. All right. Well, anyway, <laughs> I love I love this the more I keep building it. By the way, these are all the extra pieces that are left over, and you actually get quite a bit left over. It's actually kind of generous of them to uh, have all of it, but it's kind of your standard stuff that's left behind anyway. And then over here, you get these extra uh, printed pieces, which I think is really nice. So it's always nice to have extra printed pieces. So yeah, that's that's all the extra stuff that you get. Okay, I got everything all built now, and I gotta say, this set is absolutely amazing. I love this thing. Lego really knocked it out of the park with this set. <laughs> it was so fun to build, and there's so many cool things about it. And just the nostalgia factor is like times 10. So I have to admit, this part of the video, I am filming about 10 days after the beginning, because I uh, was it was taking forever to get this little guy. I was waiting for little Mario to get here, and he was all caught up in the mail. So I'll show you how he works here in just a minute with the TV. But yeah, everything's all complete now. Um, this TV is really cool how the uh, the workings, it is so cool how he jumps around like that. And I'll show you this a little closer uh, when I get Mario attached. So uh, let's go ahead and show you that and I'll give you my overall view of this whole thing. By the way, I forgot to show the back of the TV after it was all complete, but you can see how this looks just like the old TVs that we used to have. It's really cool that this back section that sticks out where the picture tube, uh, the back of the picture tube used to stick out. So <laughs> yeah, that, that looks amazing. That's the sticker, the, the only sticker besides the other two that I showed earlier. So uh, yeah, that's what the back looks like. Okay, so on the top of the TV here, you got this panel and you just kind of push it around the front here and this pops out. And on top here, you'll see the little code that lets Mario know that you are going to be scanning the TV. And then the colored tiles are what makes him react because he's got a little sensor on the bottom of him it, it lights up and he can actually read the colors and of course he's got the animation on here so uh, let's go ahead and turn him on Lego Mario time. <laughs> okay so yeah he's really cool and so he's got he's got little motion uh, sensors in there <laughs> okay yeah he's got some cool sounds okay so let's go ahead and uh, have him scan the TV and then you put them right there, and then let me have uh, let me start turning the thing. Okay, so when I start turning him, oops, I gotta redo this again. Okay, there we go. Now you'll see his reaction along with everything that's going on. Yeah, and he does different things as you go around. I think he has two or three different ones. And at the end, you get the finale music, which is cool. So he knows when you stopped turning it. So yeah, this is, <laughs> this is so cool. So yeah, I gotta say, I highly recommend this set. If you grew up with the uh, Nintendo game system like I did, and, and this is all completely familiar to you, and even if you didn't, you're gonna still absolutely love this set. It is just so cool 
And uh, I mean, you know, the fact that you can get this little guy to work with it, it's almost like you have four separate builds here for everything. You know, it's like four, four uh, sets in one. And then also at the time I bought this uh, set, you also got this free poly bag for this little, this little thing. And it also has uh, things up here for Mario to scan. I didn't, I didn't buy the uh, starter set. I just bought Mario. I found him on eBay for pretty cheap price. And I figured, well, I, I want to see what he sounds like when he's on top of the TV. And so I figured I'd try him out. But yeah, that is it. That is the Lego NES set. Um, if you are thinking about getting it, I highly recommend it. It is super fun. It was a fun build, but it's also fun to play with afterwards. So <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. And if you did, um, please like and subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. And I will see you on the next video. Thanks again and have a good one.